where we want to construct a line parallel to line L, but I want it to pass through point P. So we know visually it's going to look something like this. It's going to be parallel to line L, and it's going to do a translation to the side. Now, how do you do that? Well, we're going to use our angles, believe it or not, in our trans. Our so we're going to draw a line, your transversal. I'll talk there for a second. I'm going to draw a line. It doesn't matter where. I'm going to draw a line that goes through L and passes through point P. That's my transversal. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy corresponding angles. So you're really just copying an angle at this point. So I'm going to put my compass where my transversal intersects my original line. I'm going to adjust my compass. I don't want it too big because it gets confusing. If we had different colors we could do that. But I'm going to adjust my compass so it passes through both sides of my transversal and my original line. I go to point P, I do the same thing. Now I'm going to copy that angle so it corresponds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be copying this angle right here. So what I'm going to do is I want to go, I'm going to go to my transversal, I'm going to click where the in my transversal and my arc intersect. I'm going to adjust my compass so it goes through the intersection and of course it pops off and I put it back where it belongs. And I'll put an arc here just so you can see it. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to do the same thing. Put the arc right through there. I barely made it big enough, didn't I? Now grab your straight edge, click on point P, click on where those two arcs intersect. Make sure they're highlighted because uh, the computer will count it wrong, although you probably did it right if you don't have it highlighted. And look at that. There is our pretty parallel lines. Let's see if I can get... I just want you to see it. There we have it. And if I check, it's going to say, no, 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 I got it correct. And we're done.